to GameSpot's continuing coverage of E3 2014. I feel like I've been here since the dawn of time, but sadly, the show must end soon. But not before we got a bunch of great games on. Battlecry, EA Sports UFC, hell of a bunch of games. But right now, we got John Ribbons from Roll7, my friend. Hey, man, good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see somebody from London. Oh. I miss it. I was there for four years. I miss it. I've only been gone two days. In fact, the last time I met you was at PAX East. Um, yes. you, you're showing off Not A Hero. You guys have made Ali Ali before. Indeed. When I saw it there, it was right beside the hotline booth, and it seemed like a load of people were, were watching your game. We're like, this looks really interesting. <laughs> it was one of those, like, I hope they do well. And then, lo and behold, PlayStation 4 and Vita. <laughs> yes. It's, it's, it's worked out pretty good. Did you guys, is, has that been part of the plan for a while? Did you guys know you were going to be on PlayStation? Or? Well, it's been interesting because obviously we did uh, Oli Oli with Sony and then yeah. we're doing Not A Hero with Devolver. And I think they were talking. Um, okay. And we were talking. So it's nice that it's kind of all come together and all the people that we've been working with that have been helping us out are actually now working Collaborate. together at the yeah, same yeah. time. Yeah. Uh, well, okay, Pe a lot of people probably know about Ali Ali, so we're watching and Not A Hero right now. So yes. explain for the folks at home the sort of nuts and bolts of what we're playing here. Okay, so uh, Not A Hero is a 2D cover-based shoot 'em up um, So basically, it's all about sliding, taking cover, shooting, and like managing your ammunition. Mm. Uh, it's called Not A Hero because like, you're basically not that much more powerful than the guys you're fighting against. Okay. Uh, so you've got to like, you got to be really strategic, and you got to be really careful because you die super fast. Uh, you can pick your character here. I see Jesus is there. There's Jesus, you Clive, that's Steve. The, is that the Jesus? That's, that's kind of a big Lebowski reference, oh, yeah? the pink spandex. Uh, Cletus, it's pretty Cletus, good. He's a hillbilly with a shotgun. Oh, we're going to see a bit of him now. So they all kind of play with that mechanic of like slide and uh, slide and shoot and reload. Uh, so Cletus has got a shotgun. He can like shoot doors off hinges, hmm. send doors flying into people and like knock them over, uh, and then run in and execute them and stuff like that. All right, so you're trying to get to the top of the building, I'm guessing. How, how is this cover? So the the objectives like vary in each mission. Uh, so sometimes you're like collecting stuff. Sometimes you got to assassinate people. Sometimes you just try and wipe out everyone in the whole building. Um, and it kind of varies up. Sometimes you're coming in from the bottom, you're trying to get to the roof and get to a helicopter. Other missions, you're actually starting in the building and it's being like raided by SWAT teams or okay. like raided by assassins and you've kind of got like a horde mode thing where you're fighting people. Uh, how many times can you get hit before, you get you, before you're before you done? <laughs> looks, so looks like there's like tiny little dots underneath the, yeah. underneath the player. You can get hit four times, but basically like if they've got a machine gun, they hit you, you're pretty much dead. Like you've got to use cover all the time. So you're, you're, are you popping into cover automatically and then when you hit fire, he's like jumping out and doing yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. So you've got this like, Z, you hit Z and you slide and if you touch anything you can hide behind when you're sliding, you'll just take cover and hide okay. straight away. There's almost like a sort of a rhythm to it where you're trying to just basically be out of step with when they're shooting. Yeah, so like I guess it's always a very different game to Oli Oli, but like Oli Oli had that rhythm of like, uh, trick, grind, land, yeah. trick, land, trick, land, that whole like rhythm you've got between the buttons. It's quite similar with Not A Hero, you've got this like slide, cover, pop, shoot, slide, cover, pop, reload, that kind of thing. Uh, were you working on the two of them uh, concurrently? Because, the, 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 you know, both, both in terms of how it looks and in terms of the, the general feel, it's almost like you learned a lot while making Oli Oli that probably went into this. Well, yeah, it's interesting. Like we started, um, made a prototype for Oli Oli back in 2012. Okay. Um, and then we sort of signed that with Sony. Um, we had like a chance meeting, got a chance meeting with them. We were introduced by another studio. They signed Oli Oli, and then it took us like six months of like, you know, contracts and back and forth with Sony to, to sort out doing that. So in that six months, it was like, couldn't work on Oli Oli, like, what are we going to do? Oh, really? So like, oh, we'll just build another prototype. So we started making this dungeon crawling game called Jeffrey Archer, which was awful. And then we put a Jeffrey guy with a Archer. gun in it. Yeah, yeah, okay, you might War get this Working reference. title, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> so we started like, we made that, it was awful. We added guns and then it basically became Not A Hero. Yeah. So we'd worked on it for like four months. Then we jumped on Oli Oli for a year, so we didn't even look at this. Oh, wow, okay. For like a whole year and then we came back to it. So it was, it was good coming back to it, having finished like our first really big game you know, and having to do like awards and achievements, all yes. that kind of stuff that you want, like you don't really think about when you're doing a prototype. So it's nice coming back to Not a Hero off the back of Oli Oli and being like, okay, we've had some experience of doing that, like that sort of top layer, like meta yeah. game. It's stuff in your sight now. You understand yeah, yeah, yeah. that it's going to be there. Um, um, so what's the sort of onus then on each on the levels? Is, is, is there a story happening? Are you doing repeating <laughs> levels to like? I bet there's a story happening. I bet it's really bloody dumb. It's okay. So you. <laughs> The game didn't have a story and we kind of needed to come up with something to tie it all together. Okay. So we decided it should just be ridiculous. So basically, um, you work for a time-traveling purple rabbit called Bunny Lord. Okay. He's come back in time to become mayor of the town and he's doing that by wiping out all the mob bosses and gangsters and general bad guys. Well, he's not doing that. He's yeah, hired you... this team of like basic, you know, part-time murderers uh, <laughs> to go around doing it for him. Unemployed people. Yes, unemployed yeah. murderers, basically. <laughs> um, but in each level, you've got like, you can see there's like four objectives in the bottom of the screen. 
So you've got like the top one is your core objective. Yeah. So if you beat that, like plant the bomb and escape is all you have to do to finish the mission. And the other three are optional. Um, but they kind of stack. So like you get a four star rating based on how many of them you beat. Mm. If you beat like two of them, you get two stars and so on. But they stack up. So you have the only way to get a four star is to beat all four all three optional objectives okay. in one run. So like you might get one that's like fire 60 shots. That's quite easy to do. You might get another one that says only reload when your gun gun is empty. Okay. That's quite easy to do. But to do them both at the same time in one run is actually like really hard. I like the uh, maybe it doesn't come across when you're watching it. Um, perhaps it does. But I remember when I played, <laughs> he just got yeah, totally just smoked totally immediately. <laughs> <laughs> was that? Uh, there I was times where I was in the shadows and needed. I popped out to take a shot and the, the gun just went click. click. And yeah, I was yeah. just like, no, god damn. And then they all just rush you yeah, and you're yeah, basically yeah. dead. Yeah. You forget about um, having to reload. And I, yeah. can, you, can you rush them when they don't have Yeah, yeah, you can rush well? and slide yeah. them and then execute them on the floor. Um, well, actually, it depends which character you're playing as. But yeah, most of them have got like an execute mm. as well. Although like Tom at the moment's playing is uh, Jesus. He's definitely going to get killed a lot. <laughs> But like he's just got the he's got this gun that just fires bullets so fast. As soon as you unlock him, you start running around. You're like, I'm invincible, and everyone yeah. like gets two kills, runs out of ammo, just runs into the next room with like an empty gun, and, and they all oh, just jump no. on him straight away. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is there other um, uh, other weapons you can pick up? Like I saw, I think I've seen mines and stuff in yeah, the past. Yeah. Yeah. So you get like two types of power up. Um, when you kill enemies at close range, they drop ammo power ups. Okay. So they like change the kind of bullets. So like right now, uh, Tom's got like armor piercing. They'll just fly through everything. So you can like kill lines of your eyes. You can shoot them in cover and anything you want. Uh, you get like ricochet, which bounces around rooms. You get one that turns all your bullets into like shotgun shells. Okay. So you can blow people through doors and stuff. Um, and then you get stuff like this, like the nuclear cat. So this is like a cat you can unleash that then like just blows up entire floors. That'll do it. Um, Landmines, uh, pipe bombs, nail bombs. Sweet. All kinds of stuff. There's going to be a lot more weaponized animals in the final version <laughs> okay. as well. Everyone seems to love it's, the cat. It's what the community wants. Yes. Yeah, People enough. get the cat and they're really happy. So we're thinking like homing pigeons and a mole that digs through the floor and then blows up on the floor <laughs> below. Basically any animal that could be a weapon, I think, is a way Excellent. forward. If you have any suggestions, by all means, uh, stick them in the, the chat at Daniel Dwyer or uh, send them to me on Twitter as well. Uh, and if you have any questions to that effect as well. Uh, the UK games um, industry is not that big. Uh, what was it like when you guys saw uh, Gunpoint getting released? <laughs> I was actually on the alpha of Gunpoint. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I, I played that um, ages and ages and ages ago before yeah. it came out. Um, that's uh, one of my favorite games, that punch sound. When you knock people over and you can just hit them just in the face as long as you want, it's so satisfying. Uh, what's it like? You guys are operating in London, right? Yes. Uh, there's not. There's a couple of studios there. There's like I know Honey Slogger down there, and there's yeah. There's uh, oh, now. Now I'm going to sound like I should be able to name a bunch of studios, <laughs> but I can't. Um, yeah, there's not like a huge number of like big studios, but there's like a really good indie scene in London. Yeah. Um, there's a couple of meetup groups for like indie developers and stuff like that. Um, like one of them, London Indies, is getting like 100, 120 people coming down. Oh, really? Uh, on like first Monday of every month. Um, how long? How long has Roll Seven been together? Uh, since 2008. Oh wow, that's actually going a while. Yeah. But we, when we founded it, we decided we were going to be like a marketing agency. Okay. And that we'd use the profit from that to make games. Wow. Uh, but we then learned that that doesn't really work, and you end up just <laughs> doing marketing stuff and not getting to make your own games at yeah. all. Uh, so it was only really in 20, in 2012, we did our first. Like we made games for other people. Yeah, yeah. Um, but in 2012 was the first time we did like your our own, own game, which for was ourselves. Ali Ali, I guess. No, which was Guest to the Exit, which is oh, not really? else game okay, that you've okay. never heard of because yeah. it totally flopped. <laughs> oh, Polly, well, you guys seem to be coming good. Uh, Ali Ali so. got some nice global recognition, and there seems to be a lot of buzz around Not a Hero as well. Uh, so we're looking at this stage. Uh, how grand is? I hate these super reductive questions, but how grand is it in terms of like variety of levels, uh, replayability, and stuff like that? Um, so you've kind of got. There's going to be four districts in the city, mm. so you play through um, that uh, challenge system where you've got one primary and three optional ones. Yeah. So if you beat a district just beating the primary objectives, at the end of that district you unlock a new character. Cool. Um, you can then go back and if you can perfect every level, so like four star every single level in that district, you unlock another character. Mm. Um, but some of those challenges are set up so that you kind of need to go play through a bunch of levels, unlock a new guy who's got a specific back. skill, and then come back to an earlier level, and it's much easier to beat it with that cool. guy. So like Jesus, that oh, he's playing a Steve right now. Um, but like Steve Jesus, ain't no massage. Steve didn't die for anyone's sins. <laughs> Steve's like the first guy you get. He's like he's actually super rubbish, but he's still my favorite character. <laughs> actually, in this level, you get like a buddy, so you're actually running around with Bunny Lord, like okay, your yeah. employer. And this thing, Just like, reading the paper. well, we had like a bug. We couldn't get the AI to work properly and actually make him follow you. <laughs> but it, it was super. I hate games where like the AI is just annoying. Like yeah. guys get lost. So instead of just having him bug out, we just make him read a newspaper until you go back and find him. That's Run, pretty Tom. good. Go and get him, Tom. 
You there should leave that on the phone. There you go. Come on, Bunny. There, there you go. Much go. better. Uh, you guys are uh, making some really interesting games that are they're almost I hate the term, but like the like the snackable I heard somebody say yesterday. Snackable games. Snackable games. games. <laughs> uh, like ones that you can kinda of sit there. Like Ali Ali was very much a I'm gonna pick this up and play it for about five, ten minutes. Yes. Great, sit down and then like next day, uh, five, ten minutes again. Like well, this seems very similar. Is that is that is that a ben is that a like a reason in relation to the size of your team, the way you like to design games? I think I think it's something that happened inadvertently. I don't yeah. think we kind of set out to go, we'll make games you can play while you're having a poo. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then you'll end up sat there for like three Stop hours games. instead. Yeah, all right. but, um, but I think that's kind of what we've ended up doing. Like, I really enjoy games where like there's like a high level of challenge, but you don't feel so bad about dying because you're like straight back yeah. in and you can just keep going. Um, so yeah, I think this has become our thing. I think we didn't mean it to happen, but it's happened apparently. Excellent. Uh, so this is coming out on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation Vita? PlayStation 4, PlayStation Vita, and then PC, Mac, Linux. Oh, as well? Yes. Uh, will it be day and day, both uh, PlayStation and PC? It's going to be, I think it's going to be Steam slightly before, okay. and then it will be uh, PS4 and Vita after that. Do you, guys, you guys haven't got any early access or stuff like that going on in this? It's just going to appear, when it's out. and then you can play. Awesome. <laughs> uh, so when, when is it out? Do you guys actually have a date yet? Early 2015, so January, February time. Okay, all right. You're going to take your time. I like yeah, it. Yeah. All right. Absolute awesome. pleasure, my friend. Thanks for having us on. Uh, not a hero from Roll7. Uh, John Gibb. John Ribbons. Yes. Ribbons. I bet you call you got John Gibbons. John Gibbons, John Ribbons, Ribbons, all kinds of things. Have you had a bunch of interviews since you got it? This is your first E3, right? This is my first E3, yeah. Have you enjoyed it? Yeah, it's been awesome. Have you got to see much? No, I haven't seen anything. Sick <laughs> interviewing people like me just to get, sat there say your surname computer. wrong? Yes, all mainly. Right. But it's well, fine. That's all good. I'm what? just happy people want to see it. Well, uh, congratulations on getting signed up at Sony. It's awesome. When I saw you guys at PAX East, it was, uh, it was uh, really, you know, it's good to see Fun games getting picked up by large console manufacturers and see you guys on stage as well yeah, is really yeah. awesome. Yeah, so congratulations. Enjoy the rest of your year three. Uh, stay right here.